Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, I've received an email from a lovely lady called Sarah who lives in Jenks, Oklahoma. Now she's given me two questions, so I'm going to do both of those today and hopefully this gives you some sort of explanation as to what is out there. So the first thing I've got to say guys, if you do have a question that you want me to answer as a video, please email me. My link is below for my email address, lynda at lindaray.info. All you've got to do is say, hey, I've got this question. Do you mind doing a video about it? And give me a name that I can use if you want to be known for the person. Like your name might be Bradley Cooper of California, USA. You may only want to be known as Brad from USA. Okay. So let me know how you want to be classified if you do want to be on a video. So today I've got Sarah, who's given me consent, from Jenks, Oklahoma. Now let's go into her question. She says, how many times can a soul reincarnate? Okay, is there only so many times that it can happen? What happens to the people who have been reincarnated the most like a ranking system? I've mentioned old souls versus new souls in my previous videos. So how are they different, she asks. Is there only a certain amount of souls that are recycled or is there an infinite amount of souls that recycle? So what a great question. Okay, so let's go through it. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is I don't have all the answers. Nobody on this planet has all the answers, right? We only propose theories, ideas, assumptions even of what possibly may exist out there. So don't go and say definitively, oh, Linda said this or Bashar said that or whoever does whatever they say because we're all just trying our best in a world gone mad, correct? Okay, so how many times can a soul reincarnate? I personally, when I was in heaven back in 2001, I personally felt, because it was my perspective at the time, that we can reincarnate as often as we want under our own consent and free will as a soul. So you've got to remember, Linda talking today is only the bodily representative of who my soul really is because we can't see a soul because it's only because of the um, Higgs bosons that make us physical materialistic beings, correct? But when we go out into the energy fields, our soul becomes energy. So there's no physical representation. So how many times can we rep, um, reincarnate? I believe it's as many as we want, okay? What happens to the people who have been reincarnated the most, like a ranking system? Now, I don't like accusing and I don't like competing, okay? I don't believe that there's this competition like here on society where we have a ranking system. You know, you may, you may have... 10,000 people all applying for the next job up on the rank, okay? And then, oh, they got promoted. So then there's like 50 in that rank. And then there's another promotion for the rank higher. And, oh, my God, all 50 want that position, but only one will get it. And then when you get up to that third rank, there might only be 10 positions there. So I don't believe that sort of exists in heaven. I don't believe that there's that competition. I don't believe that there's that um structure like we have here with a ranking system i do believe though when i say that my theory is that it depends on the soul itself whether it chooses to go higher or lower because we can come back here to learn negative emotions correct so being um low vibrations so it all depends on how many lives we want and also how many lessons we want to learn, okay? So I don't believe that the ranking system is the same as like here on earth. So in my videos previously, I've mentioned old souls and young souls. So what do I mean by that? 
So when I mention a young soul, we're talking somebody who hasn't had men, oh, I should rephrase, we're talking about a soul who hasn't had many life experiences where they haven't learnt very many lessons yet. I believe there's a heck of a lot of them here on the planet right now. These are the ones who follow without questioning. These are the ones who usually have a very structured life where there's no roller coaster up and down of traumatic and great events that happen to them. So if they're having an easy life, you know, think of it this way. Children. Children. The first day at school, do they get thrown a physics book and say, hey, what's quantum entanglement about? No. They get the easy lessons first. How to count to one, two, three. Okay? So these are the young souls. These are the ones who we've got to nurture. We've got to support them and most of all, encourage and love them. So there's a lot of them out there now. And I openly say it's all the ones who are getting angry. The ones who were put into positions three years ago when COVID hit and the COVID vaccines came out, they were put into positions where they felt they didn't have a choice on what they did or didn't do, not judging who did what, right? because we're all here to learn lessons ultimately. And we're all here to learn different lessons. So we can't judge who does what, because we don't know how old their soul is, okay? Or should I say, how many lessons they've still got to learn, okay? So what do I call an old soul? When we look at old souls, am I an old soul? I doubt it, because I'm still learning a heck of a lot of lessons in this lifetime. Old souls are those who are going to what I call ascended master status. Who is an ascended master? I say that's Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, okay? People who have genuine understanding of so many concepts of emotional behaviours how things in the karmic universal energies work. They've been there. They've done this so many times. It's like Groundhog Day over and over and over again until you get it right. So these are the old souls out there, okay? They're the ones that have that wisdom where we know that they have a lot of haters because there's so many people on lowered vibrations and younger souls who... Um, do try to compete right so that's where we've just got to give these people respect listen to their opinions because ultimately at the end of the day nobody has it right but we all put forward our theories so to make us think okay okay is there only a certain amount of souls that are recycling or is there an infinite amount of souls that recycle well again this comes down to our own free will. This all depends on how many times my soul wants to learn <laughs> in order to achieve like that higher rank in heaven, okay? I believe that personally, this is my personal philosophy, so listen up. I, I firmly believe that every single day, is a opportunity to show our purpose. Look how many people right now don't have a purpose. They're confused. They don't know what their goals or ambitions are. They feel like they're in that holding pattern going around and around before their plane lands. And they're in this holding pattern where it's just like, I'm stuck, I've got nowhere to go. Because if we keep that mentality, then we're going to come back to learn the lesson again. But if we think to ourselves, okay, what is the reason for this to happen? I've been put into this opportunity where I'm stuck. I, 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 I'm, I'm in between what's going on. So when we look at why could this possibly be happening to us and we sit there and we think, well, maybe this is an opportunity for me to pause. Maybe this is an opportunity to study a different career. Maybe this is an opportunity 
to spend time with loved ones. So there's millions of these opportunities that can arise. So it's up to us individually to associate which one it is to our own specific situation, right? But when we go outside the in the day and we say, oh, I've got no purpose, we're defeating what purpose is because we all want that grandeur. We all want that, oh, medal of recognition. But at the end of the day, we could have a purpose, like I go next door and I talk to that homeless guy. He's sitting outside of Aldi and I stop. I say, hello, how are you going? I'm nearly at the point where I'm just going to say to him, come back to my house and have a shower and let me wash your clothes. Because I try my best and hello, I fail. But I try to show purpose in everything I do, every intention I have. So I'm going to go and hug a tree because that tree gives me free electrons that helps my psychic abilities. That's why people hug trees. I'm going to go and stand on the grass to do my grounding so that I'm centered. That's a purpose. I'm going to smile at that stranger because I don't know how much that guy needs a smile today. There's my purpose. I'm going to write with my pen. So my pen is my purpose today to write down the ideas, I just dropped that, pick it up later. But that pen is my purpose for writing down my thoughts today. So when we look at purpose, it's not a grand reward. It's doing those little humbled acts of kindness that ripple out to others and creates us learning our lessons. And that is why we reincarnate, to come back here and learn more stuff and then come back here and learn more stuff if we want to. So I hope that, oh, yeah, I hope that that has given you some ideas. That's I hope that that's given you some theories. If you've got your own theory, please comment below, okay? If you like this channel, please subscribe. Um, please donate because I don't ask for super chats and I will never do memberships on this channel. So if you feel like, wow, Linda's talking the right stuff, please contribute to me, okay? Help me pay my bills. So my PayPal link is below. My email is there too if you want to ask me a question so I can do a video about your question. There's no silly questions. And remember, if you've asked it, hopefully out there somewhere, somebody else has too. So your answer that I give you may help others as well. And there's your purpose. Wow. So I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Talk soon. Okay. And.